taken forever to upload, but apparently YouTube is in uh, read-only mode, which means I can't do any of my emails, reply to comments. So I just started to upload the video, 9.34. As from yesterday, little update, feeling much better. I can breathe. So I'm headed outside. We're going to take a quick look. I'm struggling to put my shoes on. We're going to take a look. Why is that locked? At uh, the snow damage. Or happiness, I guess you could say. Because it wasn't really warm today, but the sun was out. And you can see the driveway is now down to pavement and raw ice over here. It's really slick. Um, it's cold right now, but tomorrow's going to be 50. So check this out. Still a lot of snow, but it is much better. If I come over here without falling, we can see that it's down to some grass, which I have not seen this year. The sidewalk is really opened up, but the driveway looks a crap load better. So tomorrow's gonna be the big day. The sun's supposed to be out. It's gonna be over 50 degrees. So I'm hoping to get rid of a lot more of this. And for the first time this year, both cars and the garage floor are pretty clean. It's still 28 degrees. Fahrenheit and about negative 5 Celsius though, so that still sucks. Little update on the trains down here. Um, originally, Kenan and I were going to work on these yesterday and try to put something together, but he was busy, I was ready to die, um, so we haven't. But we got everything cleaned, all of this wood and all of these buildings have been cleaned up, all the tracks been cleaned. I have not dug into this box, it's full of trees, uh, G-scale people some wood, some little carts and stuff that he built. But we've got, as I mentioned before, a whole bunch of switches. So there's two trains, and we'll go look at the trains in a second. But I'm thinking I'm going to put these buildings along this wall, since there's two outlets on this wall. And since this is finished after the house was built down here, there are no other uh, outlets. But these buildings are really cool. Um, they're lit, and the detail that he put into building these by hand is incredible. And the post office there is not lit, so maybe that'll be a project for Kenan and I. Here's the light in there. Great job, though. And he's got a uh, little station here. And I think this is kind of a freight depot. I cannot imagine making that. This is all made out of pretty good wood, too. And then he has the this light, and I think there's another one. Yep, this one's attached to it. And he runs this off an accessory line of the smaller train, which I'll show you in a second. Check this building out. Another depot. Hinges here. This is lit as well. And then this is a locomotive shed, which is cool, because he can build the track up with the pieces that he made to build up the GGH track, and then park your... Uh, Locomotive in there. Real cool. And then that, that's lit as well. And uh, this little log cabin. This would be a pain to make. And then he had these lights. These really aren't street lights as much as just little lights to light the buildings up. And uh, the trains are in the other room. Yep, just as I had laid out before. This is the larger locomotive here. This is nice. I really like this. It's really big. Did I say locomotive? Transformer. Uh, it's got two modes. Uh, one of which is just kind of slower than the other. Direction and power. Then your throttle control here. It's pretty old, but it's made in the USA. And it's got some accessories and then of course your track output. This little thing's pretty cool. It goes. This is the smaller engine and the bigger one. All LGB. Lots of freight over here in this this car is pretty cool. Passenger set. He had uh, a whole bunch of these kind of rocks, and then he had the log cabin up on top. I, I didn't take the rocks from their basement, but I might next time I'm over. Then he made this. I think I showed this in the other vlog. That's um, used some elevations to get the track up there, but that's neat. Water tower. And uh, this, he had an, an old German train back from when he was a kid in the 30s and so on. This is one of the pieces he had from that. Then he made this uh, pulley system here with some wire to be able to lift stuff up and then put it in these cars. And He cut all those wood, made those little baskets and stuff. Lots of cool stuff. I really do uh, look forward to putting it up. That other um, 
transformer here where we connect that accessory line is back here. So I'm hoping that we can do that tomorrow or Thursday and get these running. Uh, I did put them on this piece of track when it was live and everything works, but they haven't run more than uh, about six feet in five, five, six, seven years. It's been a long time. So hopefully tomorrow this room will be transformed into somewhere where we can see how these guys work.